Hi you guys, so today we're making these pockets and they go inside of your journal. They can either be sewn into your signature and they would go in like this. So say this is your signature you would go ahead and put them inside of your signature and then you would stitch them in when you stitch in your signature. So you would go ahead and sew in your signature and then the pocket would be sewn in. And then you'd have one pocket on one side and then this pocket on another side. So that's an idea. The other thing that you could do with these is you could go ahead and put them around a page in your journal. So you could go ahead and glue you could glue on the top and the bottom. You would have a pocket here, and then you would have the pocket here. You could also, when you glue it in, you could glue just across the bottom and across the side, and then you could make it a top-loading pocket, just like that. And then you would still have this pocket as well. So you could do either one, and then on the inside, of course, you would have however you wanted to glue these in. If you wanted to glue the top and bottom, or the sides, or you could even just glue the top and then have it be like a tuck spot like that. You could do whatever you like and then you would have this pocket as well. So I made this sample and then I have this other sample that I made as well. And they're both really cute. These are both fall ones. And I thought we would go ahead and get started and make it really quick. I'm going to go ahead and set these aside. So I'm just using a sheet of paper from an 8.5 by 11 inch paper pad. I'll use this. And so the first thing that we do is we just fold it in half. And then what we do is we go ahead and I overlap just about a half of an inch. So this fold line right here, I'm going to go ahead and put this over by about a half of an inch. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this one over the same half of an inch. And it's just loosely. You don't have to measure it or anything like that. It's just enough so that you can glue this over the top of the other one. And then we'll go ahead and open this up. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold these corners. These are not precise at all. We're just doing a little quick and easy pocket for your journal. Okay, and then I'm going to take my art glitter glue and you can use whatever kind of glue you want if you want to use a glue stick or any other kind of glue. We're just going to glue the corners over. And then we'll go ahead and fold these over. And it doesn't matter which one you put on top of the other. We just want to glue them down. So I want to just take a bead of glue and glue this down. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. And I'm just using a bone folder just to go ahead and fold it. And so now what you can do, I'm going to use my walnut stain and distress around it, but you don't have to. This is optional. All right. Now I'm going to look at some of my digitals and pick out something. I just have this little stack of fall digitals right here. Oh my gosh. Look at that kitty. She's cute. I'm going to go ahead and put her on this side. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue this area right here and leaving this area open so I don't glue it shut accidentally. Okay. And then on the back side, I'm going to go ahead and pick something out to put on there. I'll go ahead and put this on here. And then inside of it, I'll go ahead and pick out something that I like. This is some Tim Holtz ephemera. There's a little bingo card. That's cute. I think I'll go ahead and distress around this. I'm going to 
go ahead and put a little piece of washi on this. I have a little pumpkin. That's cute. that in there and then in the back let's make a monster we haven't made a monster in a few videos <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my scrap bin and just pick out a piece of paper that I want to make a monster with okay that should be enough So far. I'm going to go ahead and get out one of these clean color dot zig pens and I'm going to draw on some eyes. Okay, and then I feel like we should make him somehow fall ish. Should he have like little fall <laughs> antlers? <laughs> Let's see what we have. I'm not sure if he'll fit in there if I put the leaves up there. How tall is he? Oh, he should fit. We'll skip the leaves. I'm going to put this on him. It's cute. I'm going to go ahead and put some little ears on him, though. Cute. I love how he turned out. He's super cute. And then you can just write on the back of him. He's just like a journaling card. Cute. Let's see if he fits. Ugh. Oh my gosh, just barely. Maybe we'll trim his ear just slightly. We'll make it work. Okay. There we go. He fits perfect. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. Let's go over what we made. I made um, two samples. I went ahead and made this one with a tag in it. So you could do a tag that you could journal on the back of and on the front of. This one just has a little journaling card in. And then this one doesn't have anything in it yet, but it's adorable as well. And then we just made her. We have a journaling spot. And then on the back, we made a little monster to put inside, a fall monster. He looks like he likes coffee. <laughs> All right. Cute. All right, I love how they turned out. I can't wait for you guys to make some. They're super fun, super easy. I'm sure you'll love them. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.